This video is going to continue our exploration of C++ and talk about uh, functions. And again, any function that you would write in C will still work, but there's two important new features that we can get. The first one is overloading, which really means that we have the same function name and different parameters. So in C, you could only ever have one function with the same name. Um, but in C++, you can use the same name, and as long as you have different parameters, then the compiler will know which version of that function you're calling. And the second thing is something called pass by reference, which is a little bit of a new syntax. It's kind of something that looks like a value, so it looks like normal pass by value that we're used to with C, but uh, acts like a pointer. Um, and so we'll, that probably is a little bit of a vague, acute um, description of what's happening, but we'll see exactly what that means. So we'll learn about these two things in C++. And here's the example that I want to look at. It's the same example that we started with in, in the previous video, which is sense.cpp. So again, this program right now just reads in a dollar amount and then splits it into dollars and cents as two ints. And the first thing is for pass by reference. So I'm going to talk about things in the opposite order of what I just mentioned. So if I change this to be pass by reference, uh, we'll see where that's useful. So for these two arguments, dolls and cents, notice that we're passing them as int stars. And why are we doing that is it's kind of because this function has to return two numbers. And what we talked about a while ago in C is that in order to return multiple values, you have to pass in pointers so the function can change those values. And then you have to do the dereference operator like what we see right here. And so with pass by reference, what's going to change is that instead of doing like int star, we do int ampersand. And what that allows us to do, it says dollars is now, dollars is a reference to an int and cents is a reference to an int. So it lets us change those without having to do any special dereference syntax. So all we do is, is say int ampersand instead of normal ints. Notice that amount is still a double because that doesn't need to be a reference. We're not going to change the amount, but we're going to change these so we pass them as references. And then it just makes the syntax easier. So it's really doing exactly the same thing as it was with pointers in C, but it's an easier syntax, so we don't have to remember to use the address of operator when we call the function and use the dereference operator inside the function. All we have to do is put the uh, ampersand for a reference type in the parameters, and then our function can actually change those values. So this function now, without having to do any special dereference, just says dollars equal this, and it'll, and it'll change the value of dollars in the original mean. Uh, cents equals this, and it changes this value in the original mean. Um, so the double amount will still be passed by value, which means that the function will have a copy. But the function doesn't get a copy of these. It actually gets what's called a reference to the reg that original one. So this will still work now um, if I say make sense and what and oh i see my make file is confused because i have a sense.c and a sense.cpp <laughs> there it is okay so i finally used the g++ compile to compile my sense.cpp program and now, if I run it, 356, and that tells me that's $3.56. Great. The other thing that we can do in um, C++ that's a little bit new is we can have multiple functions with the same name as long as they have different parameters. So this is uh, maybe uh, not the most interesting use of it, but if I take in a double and let's say I only care about the dollar amounts out of there. So sometimes I want to split and just get the dollar amounts. I don't, I don't care about the cents. Um, well, I guess in this case, I could just return it. So notice this function has the same name as the first function, but what's different is the number of parameters that it takes. Uh, so I can make my int split double amount and I'll do the same thing here but then I'll just return the 
dollars instead of assigning it to something. Okay, so I have the same function name with two different um, kinds of arguments, and I can call it like this. I'll say split of amount, and this works. So I can call split with three parameters here or split with one parameter, and based on, a, based on three arguments or one argument, I should say, and based on how many arguments I give it, the compiler will know which version of this function to actually use. So in, in a C program, this would be an error to have two functions with the same name, but in C++, it is fine. So it compiles and it works if I remember to type the dollar sign and there we go. Okay, and, and we could even have it where they both have three parameters and as long as they have different types, then that's always gonna be enough for the compiler to tell which version that they call. Notice that they can have different return types, that's, that's fine. So it's really just the same name and different parameters. Um, so that's a new feature of C++ when it comes to functions.